Well, Charlotte's all ready for bed now, and we're going to read a few more stories from the Little Critters Fall Collection. The next story we're going to be read is Going to the Firehouse. Today in my class is Going to the Firehouse. I dress like a fireman. Time to fight a fire. This is Fireman Joe. This is his dog, Sparky. Sparky is a fire dog. Fireman Joe has boots and his, he has a jacket. He has a helmet. I have boots. I have a jacket. I do not have a helmet. Joe slides down a pole. Sparky howls. That is what he does when there is a fire. Oh, Charlotte. We see a fire truck. It is big. It is red. It has hoses and ladder. And a ladder. Joe checks the hoses. He lets me help. Whoosh! The water goes the water. The hose is working fine. Joe checks the ladder. He goes up and up. He is in the sky. Hello, Fireman Joe. Joe checks the siren and it goes ooh wee ooh. The siren is very loud and I cover my ears. Joe tells about fires. He tells us smoke goes up and smoke goes up. We just go down to the floor. We must go down to the floor. I get on the floor. Joe tells us what to do if we are on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. I stop, drop, and roll. Fireman Joe smiles. He has a surprise. He reaches into his truck. Helmets for everyone. I put on my helmet. Joe tells me I will be a good fireman one day. Ding, ding, goes the fire alarm. I wave goodbye to Fireman Joe. I wave goodbye to Sparky. Time to fight a fire. Fireman Joe is ready to go. Sparky is too. The next story we're going to be reading here in the collection is The Best Show and Share. Next week is, ba is show and share, for, so figure out what to bring, my teacher said. The bell rang. It was time to go home. She gave us a sheet of paper for our parents to sign. See, when I was in school, it's called show and tell, so I keep wanting to say that instead of show and share. So forgive me, everyone. At home, I asked Mom, what can I bring? Bring your dog she said. Little sister wanted me to bring her. I can't bring you. You're my sister, I said. So, she said. Never mind, I said, and went outside. Maybe I could bring an ant farm. No, ants are too yucky. Maybe I could bring, I could collect different leaves. No, too much work. I called my friends. Timothy was bringing his tarantula. Tiger was bringing his long-haired hamster named Thundercloud. Henrietta was bringing her f dog, Fluffy. Gator was bringing his stamp collection. Malcolm was bringing his snake. Bun Bun was bringing her doll collection. I think that's what Sophie and Charlotte would take. <clears throat> I don't know what to bring. I went to the stream to find some worms for fishing. I was looking around when a big bullfrog hopped out from the stream right into my coffee can of worms for worms. Wow, that's great, I thought. I put the lid on the can and took the bullfrog home. Dad found an old aquarium. We fixed it up for my frog. We put him in, but before we got the lid on, he jumped right across the room into the 
into the coffee can on the floor. Wow, said Dad. He likes that can. He tried again and, and he did the same thing over and over. You've got something special, some special share and show, or show and share, said Mom. I named him Leaping Lizard. I told my friends about Leaping Lizard, but they didn't believe me. After school, I showed them and they were amazed. I made a poster all about bullfrogs. I got pictures off the internet. The night before show and share, I pasted everything down. Leaping Lizard sat in his coffee can watching me. He really liked that can. <coughs> I went to bed so excited about the next day. Morning came, I jumped out of bed, got dressed and ate breakfast. All my parents were driving their kids all the parents were driving their kids to school that day. I went to get my frog. He was gone. Oh no. I forgot to put the top on the aquarium. I ran to the coffee can. No frog. Mom, I screamed. Leaping lizard is missing. We looked everywhere. I was already late for school. Mom said, take your poster to share. I'll give a note to the teacher. I'm sure I will find your frog. We went to school. I was so upset everyone took turns showing and sharing. When it was my turn, I thought I'd be sick. Suddenly, Mom came into the room with the aquarium, the coffee can, and my frog. I found him, she said. I took my turn. Everyone was amazed. Leaping Lizard jumped into the can every time. When it was all over, I got the most interesting ribbon. Malcolm was mad because he thought his snake would win. Timothy got most scary. Henrietta's dog got most fluffy. Actually, everyone got a ribbon. It was the best show and share ever. We hope you enjoyed these stories. And we have some more to read. And <coughs> we will see you again.